In today's video, we're going to be covering a product I purchased about a month ago, and I've been using it for the past two weeks here. And this is a tiny soldering iron station that costs $34. The sponsor of the video is PCBWay. Now, they're one of the top PCB manufacturers out there, and you can quickly have your projects ready made for you within 24 hours with their 24 hour service. They also do have assembly and flashing services, and it's the company I always use whenever I create a product and or project. So go ahead and check the links down below. I was looking for a smaller solution that I could just tuck right behind my keyboard so I don't have to walk to my Gordak a soldering station. I've reviewed a lot of soldering station on the channel, but I always wanted smaller and smaller just so I could sit it right behind my keyboard because this is what I usually reach out for the most. I'm not really doing a lot of rework recently, so it's just basically just a soldering iron. So I wanted something small, compact, cheap, and just works out of the box. And I found this and I've been using it. It has its pros and its cons, which we're going to cover in this video right now. Now they're stating this is a metal case, but it's actually not. This is plastic. So keep that in mind. Now on the back side here, it's, it's really basic, very minimal, and it just does the job. On the back here, we have the power connector and they do provide that with you. So you just plug that in and power this on when you need it. And on the front here, we have an LED that allows us to change the temperature. And the soldering iron tip is completely detachable if you wanted to do that. It also does come with the stand, also the sponge, and the soldering iron tip here. Now, it also does have automatic standby mode, so it actually senses that you're actually moving. However, inside, I don't think you'll be able to hear it because uh, what they're, they're using mercury inside, I think, uh, for the switch. I'll show you that in a bit. Now, if you look at the soldering iron handle itself here, now, the, they only provide you with this really tiny tip here. However, one of the downsides, in my opinion, is it doesn't fit the universal type of tips that you could just purchase anywhere. Uh, it takes the 203H, but you'll definitely have to pick up different tips because I've only been using it on smaller wires right now because of the tip arrangement here, as you can tell. You see, it's slightly different than normal ones. And this is around two millimeters and the holes around a little bit above two millimeters. And the outer diameter is roughly uh, three to four millimeters here. And it just fits in just like this right there. So uh, that's something you need to take into consideration when you're purchasing this. So if you purchase this along with some universal tips, it, they're not going to work here. Now, if we remove the complete handle and we take a look on the inside, now don't forget this thing costs only $34, which is just insane. All right, so we're just going to remove that. We're going to pull this out here. Now, the overall build you know, quality is decent. I've seen worse. For $34, this is actually pretty amazing. So if we take a closer look at that thing right there, I think that's mercury inside or some kind of a metal, liquid metal in there. And that detects when you move it and you don't move it. So it, it'll allow it to go into standby mode in case you forgot it on or something. So it doesn't use that much power and it's a little bit safer. And it's, it's a nice little feature in my opinion. So now when you power this on just from the back here, I really like that. Uh, you, it remembers this, the temperature you have set it to. It goes up all the way up to 480. I haven't really tested 480, but around 350 to 370 works perfectly perfect for me. My other soldering stations, sometimes I have to go to 390, but this is just working really great at uh, lower temperatures. And also I've noticed the power delivery is, is slightly better than my Gordok, which is something really nice. And I, I wasn't expecting to be honest. Uh, so that's something I really liked about it. It's been very useful and it just works really great and very quickly. And I think it's going to go into standby mode now if we stop moving it, which is something uh, really nice here that just to have in a, in a $34 soldering station. And it doesn't get really hot here. So that's something I always look for. But again, this is plastic. I, I don't know why they say it's al aluminum, but it's not aluminum. It's actually plastic. Now, for the past two weeks that I've been using it, I have no complaints other than the tips. So I need to order some uh, different tips here. But overall, it's functioning just as good as my $300, $400 soldering station. So I'm very happy to see that. Now, overall longevity of this, I have no idea. It is $34, but I'll keep you guys updated as soon as this breaks because I'm using it constantly and it's just right in front of me here. I just have it right behind my keyboard and this thing just doesn't take any space really. And uh, that's one of its main features in my opinion. The power delivery also is really great on this from what I've tested so far so uh, if you're looking into a budget or a tiny setup or a backup soldering iron as of right now i would recommend it in terms of longevity i don't know I'm, just, I'm still testing it as i go but i'm, I'm very excited for it you know that i even thought it just deserved its own video so just because of the way it's performing i actually decided to make it 
a, make a video for it. That, that's how good it was, and that's how surprised I was for that you could get something this good for thirty four dollars. That's just crazy. Um, so I really like it, and I would definitely recommend it as of right now. But if anything ever goes bad with it, you guys know, and uh, just let me know down in the comment section later on in the future. You could always ask about it. How is it still? And if anything happened, I'll let you guys know. But thirty four bucks, you can't go wrong. Actually, um. I think this is one of the best purchases I've made this month so far. Um, and yeah, well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.